Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. My name is Martin Lucas. I go live up to 10 hours a day. I'm in the studio 12 hours a day. This is my real money, my real portfolio, and I've got a really special message today. A very positive, spe special, <laughs> special, that's more like it, a special message of positivity for everyone. I see so much wonderful opportunity in everything right now, and... Uh, I'm going to share that with you right at the end of the show. So uh, we're, we're quite excited. I'm quite. I'm quite excited about that. So let's get straight into it. Let's see where we are. Let's bring on the tickers on the screen, and let's get ready. In the last few minutes, the markets are um, going back up again, and uh, I bought some more S and P 500 this morning. You saw saw me do it live, and uh, I am excited. I'm excited about something that's going to happen in 55 minutes from now. I will share it with you once everybody comes in. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I've been wanting to make a. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for ages. So uh, I will uh, share with you in a few minutes. Uh, anyway, here we go. <laughs> I saw. I saw that mic. I've been getting that message all over. All over YouTube. It's. Uh, it's very entertaining. I will just keep smiling and going, why do people do this? Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter, Mike. Let it all go. Uh, welcome, everybody. If you've not clicked subscribe before, ring the bell. Let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Here's, our, uh, here's Craig, our cash prize winner this morning. Let me show you my um, portfolio as well. It's looking uh, pretty tasty. Uh, let's have a quick look where we are. Here we go. Look, let's see where, as you can see, it's coming back up again. Look at that uh, in the last few minutes. So what a surprise. Everything sells off just to go back up again. Uh, anyway, it's all good. That's my portfolio. Bought more dips this morning. So uh, we're all good with that. Hang on a minute. Let me change that screen. That's my uh, announcements. So let me go back over to this one. This one here, my Roth. That's better. Let's do that again. Okay, so here's my overall portfolio. Here's my Roth IRA going up, back up again now. Uh, I'm watching you from behind. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Anyway, he's watching me from behind. So uh, Roth IRA is uh, is down at the moment, but coming back up again. So I bought the dip this morning. Very nice. And there's my overall balance, nearly at forty three thousand again. Uh, so, uh, looking pretty good. We've nearly got, uh, nearly got our 43,000. I'm quite looking forward to, uh, getting back to $50,000. Remember, I've been there before with margin. Now I'm doing it with my own money. So it's a very different, uh, different ball game. Market profit this morning. Couldn't see that. He thought, why are you so far behind? Well, because I cleared my margin, that's why. So it's a long-term position rather than looking great now. It's about where the, the portfolio is, right? Not where it sort of looks like or whatever. So it's where it's going long-term. Anyway, good afternoon, Tia Roll. So coming up, is everybody here yet? Is everybody here? I, I've always wanted to make a video like this. Uh, so let me see who's with me yet. Um... Okay, not everyone has liked the video yet. Once we get uh, like 30 people in, I will share some exciting news, right? Okay, so uh, anyway, how are we doing? We've got uh, 12 watching, 5 likes, smash the like button. If we can get to 100 likes, I will uh, give away a cash prize today. Dan Williams is here. Hello, Dan Williams. How are you? Lovely to have you here. Neptune in greetings from Houston, Texas. Welcome to you. Uh, good afternoon, TRO. Good afternoon, everybody. Excellent. Right, let's go from our positions. Rolls Royce. After all of this, after all of this nice upswing, it started barcoding again. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? That's barcoding. It did that when it was doing nothing. I hate to see that. We're back to where we were before. This is what it did for a year down at eight sort of 80 cents, 90 cents, and now we're back to there again. I can't aft I can't believe we are back in this situation again. Anyway, we are. Always a beginner. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Piano Man. Good afternoon to you. Uh, the S&P 500 is uh, moving back up again. We bought the dips this morning. Roth IRA, I now have 10% 
in uh, the S&P 500. Fan flipping tastic. I love it. And uh, I'm up on it and I bought it down here. So we're looking good. Uh, looking good. Mike, ignore him, mate. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I want to see where it goes, Mike. It's all, it's, it's all good. <laughs> I've got my army surrounding me and uh, I'm going, it's all right, boys. Let it, let it play out for a minute. Let it play out. Virgin Galact, <laughs> but thank you anyway. I'm in good spirits. I've got some exciting news in a minute, so I'm in good spirits. I'm not worried. Virgin Galactic is going down. I still believe it's going to go down to $3. And someone said to me, can't understand why you're so, uh, you believe it's going to go 100 bucks, but you won't buy it at 552 Well, I can use my money elsewhere. And uh, you got fanboys again of stocks. I don't understand why people get carried away like that. Anyway, they do. Uh, it is what it is. Virgin Orbit going down now. It's getting really low. 131. All time lows. I am concerned that Virgin Orbit is getting too cheap right now. Rivian is uh, just edging sideways. Bit of entertainment. Watch the nutters go round in circles. <laughs> 22. Hell, hell, uh, Falafel, hello. I just bought 50 shares of VU today. Congratulations, Falafel. I think that's a very, very uh, sensible thing to do. I really do. The markets are getting worse. Inflation is getting worse. The economy is getting worse. And that is all good because you use that to advantage. We're still going to need stuff. We're still going to buy stuff in the future. The world can't just keep going down and down and down. If you think like that, you might as well just pack up and go home. We need to invest when the markets go down. It's the, it's the most basic, solid principle of all investing. Buy great companies, buy great assets when they go down. Does it not make sense? Of course it does. So right now, the S&P 500, let's have, if we look at it over, it's, it's the most solid asset you can buy. It's not rock and roll. It's not exciting, but it's sensible. It makes money. Look at that over the last, uh, over the year, uh, over the last five years. Look, it collapsed. It keeps on coming down. So it pays a dividend. It's got the best companies in America. It'll always adjust without you even to worry about it. Just keep on going. Uh, yes, but down by how much, says 22. It doesn't matter. We don't know when the bottom's coming. If you've got money and you bring it in, like I'm doing every month, a couple of thousand dollars, keep buying it down. Eventually, I'm going to have so many shares at lower and lower and lower prices. When things turn around, eventually they will. Eventually they have to. Everything will come great. And then what will happen is my next strategy will be will be simply to hold and build up my cash and let my cash build up and build up and build up. I won't be investing anymore then. I'll already have. And if you look at my portfolio, uh, if we go over to the all-time position, you will see uh, my all-time position is down 41 grand. I should have $87,000 invested. 87. I've never even seen $87,000 in my life. I've never had $80,000 in my bank account. Well, I've put $87,000 into the stock market with no margin, with no borrowing money. Eventually, it'll go up and eventually I will do well. I'm not selling out. I'm not selling for losses. I'm buying companies that make money cheaper and cheaper and cheaper all the time. Uh, down was 3,500 on the S&P, but long term, long term things go up. We're in a lull right now, doom and gloom right now. There's no point living in that, in that world, is there? And who's to say that was even the bottom? Nobody knows and nobody can know. If you are consistently buying lower prices, consistently bringing your margins down, eventually you have to win. It's just the simple fact uh, that's all that matters. It's okay if you can add, if you can keep adding every month, but many can't. They need to choose their entries very wisely. Uh, well, yes, but the only reason that I can is because I worked for thirty, like I don't know, thirty-five years. One dollar a time. You heard I told you how I paid the mortgage off. One dollar tips. When everybody said, "Why, why do you bother with one dollar tips?" Paid off the mortgage. Pay off the credit cards. Pay off the loans, and then start investing. No one should be investing here in this current climate, not knowing how far down it's going to go. If you've got a credit card out of control, if you've got a, a mortgage above your head, if you've got a car loan above your head, if all of that is manageable or non-existent. 
then you should be here. If you don't, if you are in a position where you've got debts over your head, you should be paying those things off first. Simple as that. I know you, you, you don't want to hear that. You want to be involved, but it's not the way to do it. It's, I had to wait 30, 34 years to do it. Anyway, space dot will blow up even up, up uh, if, they, if they stop uh, delaying. I'm sure it will. But again, don't have all your money too much in it. I'm referring to people who are retired, etc. Managing a pot and not adding to it. I agree. 22. You are dead right there. People who are retiring right now, it is awful. We've said time and time again. Um, if you are retiring right now, then you are in trouble. What the hell is VU, says Neptunian. VU is uh, SPY, is the S&P 500. You can't buy the S&P 500. You have to buy it through an ETF. Uh, so you can use VU or SPY. There's several others, but VU and SPY are the biggest. Most big investors will use uh, SPY because it has more liquidity, whereas uh, smaller retail investors tend to use VU. It's marginally cheaper. And if you compare the two prices, that's not what I mean. They were set up at different times, but they follow each other identically. There's nothing in it. If you compare them like for like, there's nothing in it. But marginally, slightly, it's a slightly better value with the, the cost ratio. I, because there's less liquidity, I use VU, all right, VOO, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. That's what I do. And it's 10% of my portfolio on my Roth. And it is, um, and it is, uh, let me have a look a minute, not on my traditional IRA. Not, I don't have any money in that one. Uh, my brokerage account, it is, uh, let's have a look, uh, 41, sorry, 42.5% of my portfolio. See it on the screen there, 42.5%. That's uh, how committed I am to a solid, reliable stock like that. Anyway, even with too little money, it could make more sense to invest in yourself somehow. For, I agree, the best investment you can ever make is yourself. It's why I invested in myself, sat here for a year for free before I started earning any money. Absolutely, 100% agree with you. Okay. We've got 45 minutes to go before a very special announcement. Uh, let me refresh my screen because it's not updating properly. Uh, let me refresh that a minute. That's more like it. I was thinking, what's going on here? There we go. Now, in the uh, in the chat right now, I'm featuring a show showcasing a product. I'm showcasing my beer glass because we're celebrating. Uh, by the end of the year, we'll be at 10,000 subscribers, and by 113 days, we'll be at 1 million views. That's my target. That's what I'm aiming to get to. Why is the Premier saying market crash. Why is the Premier saying market crash? That's what comes up in uh, 45 minutes because the markets have crashed. There's more pain to come. However, I mean, look, my market has crashed. Look at that. I'm down 53%, $41,000. And uh, that is what it's all about. So this is what my announcement is. In a minute, here is this special video. It goes live it's a it's a five minute video right at the end of the show, and then it will go. Then it's uh, ten minutes later. We'll go into the world premiere of my music uh, as well for those friends, our friends in uh, in Syria and Turkey, in the earthquakes. Okay, so we have, uh, and that is let it be tonight. This is the music premiere. This is the world premiere music, uh, and here here it is. It's let it be tonight. From uh, Turkey and Syria, you'll see the scenes there. There's the world premiere. But the special video is just before that. And it comes right at the end of today's show. What's it all about? Well, I've been uh, looking forward to uh, making a video like this for a long time. Talking about the overall markets, the state of the markets, and how people react to the markets. This is how Meet Kevin reacts to the market right now. He's a multimillionaire, but he's always upset. This is Graham Stepan. Those aren't real tears, by the way. It's a good performance to get you uh, to watch his videos. Anyway, there you go. That's what we're talking about tonight. That's my special video. Market is barely holding on, uh, says Neptunian. Could go a lot further than this. That's why I'm talking about market crashes, okay? Anyway, so join me for that tonight. This is our world premiere. It's all over 
Lost $40,000. Oh, there we go. Settings is just following me. Are we getting more? Um, if, if it does it a couple of times, I will know that uh, we have the bots in again and I will turn it off. We'll give it. There we go. There we go. Goodbye. See you later. Uh, they try and have a go and I get rid of them straight away. Uh, but now you all know about it. I'm going to start. I'm going to stop even talking about it because uh, I'm giving them too much publicity and that's all they want. Rolls Royce is barcoding again. I'm very concerned about that. The S&P has been coming up uh, all day. So I bought some more. Uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, very, very happy about that indeed. Anyway, let's carry on. Virgin Orbit going going down even further. New all-time lows. It's bringing my uh, Roth IRA down. Uh, John McElwain, how far can this orbit drop? It's now at 128. Uh, I know. I am very concerned because they need to raise funds, which they can't do now. Now the market's down. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? I don't know what's going to happen. I have to be honest. It's very, very... Um, it's very worrying that it's going this low. And today, seeing um, the inflation rates go up again and knowing that half a percent is coming, a lot more pain's coming. And companies that don't make money, don't have reserves, will go bankrupt. We have not had one of my companies that I invest in go bankrupt. That isn't going to last much longer. Even Virgin Galactic could go bankrupt. They cannot hold on forever. So uh, just be wary. Doesn't matter how bullish you are, I don't think that you should have your Virgin Galactic and your Virgin Orbit 80% of your portfolio. Five, six, seven maximum. That's it. It's sensible. You know, unless you just want to go all in and, uh, you know, don't care. You just want to get rich and uh, hope for the best, you know, hang over a cliff. That's fine. That's not really what my portfolio is all about. There's only one path, which is more interest rate rises. That means higher borrowing costs, which means lower profits, ex profits, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely spot on. You're dead, dead right. Afternoon, afternoon all, Ed Nevius. How are you this afternoon? Welcome to you. Lovely to see you here. And, uh, we're getting some money back out now of Lucid. It's slowly going up. Um, Neptunian says Orbit is going to bottom big time. Well, it could go anywhere right now. Uh, it has got customers, but those customers are finding it harder to use the services now. And uh, people will be pulling back. Uh, Facebook, I can't believe this about Rolls Royce. Uh, Carl Werby, join us here on YouTube, um, youtube.com forward slash at Martin Lucas Investor. That's where we are right now. Come and join us. Um, Facebook, we only ever get scammers, and we'd love to welcome you uh, as a genuine investor. So please do come and join us uh, over here on, um, on Martin Lucas Investor. Okay, on YouTube. Okay, let's do a quick commercial break. We've got just an hour to go before our uh, special video tonight. I've been waiting to put a video out like this for ages, so I thought now was the time. All right, so anyway, uh, see you right back in 10 seconds from now. Okay, if you are a YouTube sponsor and you sponsor membership level, you can be in this space. And we'll talk about Ali Tizro and the Crypto Challenge, one of our sponsors, coming up in a few moments. Okay. Over there on TikTok, come and join us on YouTube, the home of our show. They are rubbish at promoting the stocks. That's a big problem. A big problem in Vorb. I agree. I think their marketing and their presentation was diabolical. Uh, we know they um, they failed on the uh, on the mission, which is bad enough. You know that can happen. However, um, it's the way they uh, portrayed their whole company was uh, why a lot of people sold out. However, you know my policy: I buy when everyone's selling, and I sell when everyone's buying. That's how I do things. Well, with my $87,000 that I've invested in the market right now, when the um, markets go up, I won't be putting any money in. I'll already be in with 87 grand. So uh, let's see how we go. Amazon going sideways now, down 2%. Um, where's that going? How much lower can that go? 
Uh, oh, blimey. McDonald's, still too expensive for me. Coca-Cola, nearly in the money again. J&J, 5.5% down now. It's 39% of my Roth IRA. And my main brokerage account, it's 5.46. I have nearly $2,000 worth there, down 6%. I've started to move away from J&J, thinking that we're nearing the bottom. I don't want to load up more and more. I want to use the money to go into VU, so I'm diversified. I don't want just a uh, J Johnson & Johnson portfolio. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, people invest in excitement. Bed, Bath & Beyond is more exciting than VORB right now. Yep, that tends to be the case. It's all about getting rich right now. No one's got any patience. That isn't my uh, strategy at all. So that's not really for me. Walmart had a nice drop today. Great company. Great earnings. Opportunity there. Tesco is uh, presenting itself again. It's not right, though. I need it down at uh, the low eights before I start buying it for another round. Next, extra, next era energy. Let's have a look at it. It's taking a moment to load. There we go. Up 0.44 today, still 4% out of the money. But remember, at one point I was down 20%. So uh, I'm okay with that. I've improved my position. Bitcoin today, down 3%. Uh, it's funny because only a couple of days ago, uh, Bit, uh, Crypto Boy, crypto boy what is, uh, what's he called? BitBoy Crypto and uh, George and uh, all these people, Cryptos Are Us, all saying, and, uh, and Michael Saylor and everybody else, Kathy Wood, $100,000 this year. Not a chance in heck. Um, but, you know, who knows? If everyone buys it, anything can happen, right? Uh, I'm not. I buy it when it goes down. I don't buy it when it goes up. And there's no FOMO here. Robin Hood. I bought a, a couple more. I'm just slowly in inching back in there with a few bucks. Every time it gets lower, I just buy a couple more. I'm out of SoFi because they lied about uh, interest rates coming down. Knowingly, come on, they knew that. SoFi was a big lie. Don't like investing in companies that lie. Canoe, uh, I think now Canoe is on its last legs. Uh, it's the supplier for Walmart for those last mile delivery vans. I think Canoe needs to raise funds, 73 cents. It'll be delisted. I think Canoe is going bankrupt. Hate to say it, um, but they make no money and they won't survive. They can't survive in this current climate. You can will it all you want. Anyway, with investing $1,000 in NEO stock can give you nice vacation in a few days ahead. Harry Harrison, uh, I wouldn't uh, invest in that company. Uh, for me, doesn't belong on my portfolio, but I wish you the very, very best and I hope it makes you lots of money. Ford uh, is down today, 0.87. They're losing money on all their Ford Lightnings. They're not even making them anymore now. They've stopped making them. Um, but anyway, that's not good news, is it? Uh, do you know why IonQ didn't get much speculative support from the AI hype? Should have massive data processing require faster computing? I do think that um, that IonQ is a great company, but it's overpriced right now. It's one for the future, and I mean like 10 years. So uh, at the rate where we are right now with the economy, it's 10 years away. So anyway, there we go. Let's have a look at my overall portfolio. Let's see the comments that are coming in. Here we go. So we're nudging up slowly. We've been buying the dips this afternoon. The over, my um, Roth IRA trying to come in. Massive drop this morning on those uh, inflation figures. Scared the markets. 42, nearly at 43. But uh, yeah, not so good. But uh, opportunity knocks everywhere right now. Let's go and have a quick look. Uh, right, we've got, uh, let me zoom in here. We've got 28 watching with 13 uh, likes. If we get uh, 100 likes, we'll do a cash prize giveaway, as we always do. Uh, so here we go. Let's put a one minute on the clock. Let's see if we can get, uh, uh, let's see if we can get uh, 20 likes at least. We should do that, all right? There's uh, 28 watching. You ready? Help me out by smashing the like button. Let's zoom in so you can see. There are 28 watching, there you go, just there above my thumb, and we have uh, 16 likes. Let's get the 20 likes above my head, there you go. Let's see if we can get to uh, 20 likes in the next uh, 30 seconds. And uh, we'll bring you the breaking news this afternoon, 16, 17, there we go. Someone uh, 
18. There we go. Two more likes. 20 seconds to go. Oh, 2021. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you ever so much, guys. Love the positivity. Love the energy. Love it. All right. Now, I'm not going anywhere. People uh, said uh, that, uh, first of all, it, um, uh, that I wouldn't last on this channel. They said, you won't last here when, when you lose money. Well, I've lost $41,000 so far because I bought at the top and I explained why I did that in my video in a minute. But uh, people uh, said, you wouldn't last. People who go on YouTube who lose money uh, disappear. Don't stand around. Well, they, uh, they judge me wrong. I'm the world piano man. I've been entertaining and uh, committed to my, uh, my um, projects for 30, what, 37 years. I've never given up at anything and I ain't, I ain't going anywhere. So uh, you're backing the wrong horse there if you think I'm going to go because we're down. Um, hey, Martin, what's the matter? Hey, what's the matter? Uh, I don't know. What is the matter? What's the matter? What's going on? What, is there anything the matter? I'm all right. How are you? Uh, Virgin Orbit, 131. 131. If you've just tuned in this afternoon, we have our world premiere tonight. It's Let It Be by Sir Paul McCartney. And uh, there you go. But just before then is our special video right at the end of the show. I hope you'll all join me. I'm hoping that this could be a, 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 a um, viral video for me. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. There it is. Uh, it uh, happens right at the end of the show, in half an hour from now. And it will go. this show will go straight into it. And then that will go straight into uh, the music event this evening. All right? Okay. Virgin Galactic, $5 next week, says Mohammed. Let me have a quick look. SPCE. Um, I think it could go as low as three. Um, people don't want to hear that. However, I think it's completely possible. Sadly, I think it's possible. Um, because it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is, I'm afraid. I think it's going to go to three. Now... If it doesn't and it carries on going without me, that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. It doesn't matter. I've got enough money here because, I, I, because I've only got 204 shares. And I'm not saying only. Some people only have one share. That's absolutely fine. Uh, 200 shares can take me to uh, a very, very nice position at $100 a share. Because I won't have to sell on the way up. I won't have any fear. Well, those who are, who are buying it on the way up, and there will be people buy it on the way up, they've got some reason to be concerned because the, co the company will wish to um, dilute, to raise money when it goes up. They're going to have to. So you don't want to be in on the way up when it starts to dilute, do you? You want to be in when it's down at 3 and $4, which is why I'm holding out for lower. And it's why I, I can afford then to leave it in all the way to 100 because I'll only have a uh, $4 investment. It uh, won't worry me. Okay, uh, I'm good. Studying for driver's license quiz. Thanks so much indeed, Martin. Hey, congrats. I wish you all the very best. How can we make it viral? Tweet Sir Elton and Sir Richard so they retweet it. <laughs> uh, yeah, George Samain, the way to make it go viral is when it goes live in uh, 30 minutes from now is watch it, watch it on loop, leave a comment, leave a like, and then share it on your social media. Tag people in it. Put it on your social media. Absolutely. That is the best way. I'm very excited. For, I've always wanted to make a video like this, explain why I lost so much money and why I'm still here. But uh, this is what it's all about. We've got Meet Kevin, who's a multimillionaire, who's always depressed, but he's not really. It's all an, an all an act. All right. And Graham Stepan, who's put, that's not even a real tear. That's all pretend. Uh, and we talk about it today, why I'm always smiling, even though they've made millions and I've lost uh, over half of my money, $41,000, and why I'm always live anyway, and why I'm always happy, because I look at life very differently, and that's who I am, take it or leave it, <laughs> all right, so here we go. Uh, we've got 30 minutes to go before the bell goes. We got we are getting a slight rise into the close. That's as as expected. Uh, 
Do join me for the special video in half an hour. Who's going to be the first person to leave a like and a comment there? There you go. Let me give you the link. There you go. Let me give it you twice so you can see it. If uh, you go and leave a like, here it is. You can uh, see it here. You can leave a like just here if you want to, just there. You can leave a comment below in the video. And uh, th the thing is, um, also, I want to say that I think uh, Meet Kevin and... Um, and Graham Stepan, I think if you add add their ages together, they'll be both young, still younger than me. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure about that. Anyway, I might be wrong, but that's it's about right. So I decided to put my hands underneath and take care of them. They need some love. They need some love because they're uh, they're not happy. They're never happy. So I thought I would share this video with you. Anyway, hey, Craig, what about you? Thank you very much, mate. I really appreciate it. How old are you, Martin? I'm 54 in uh, a few days' time. I'm 54 in a few days' time. Anybody, anybody remember when my birthday is? Uh, I'll be 54 years of age in a few days. And uh, there you go. We've got <laughs> just a few minutes to go before the bell goes. Happy early birthday. Well, that's not yet. It's not yet. And on my birthday, for those of you who don't know, uh, we like to have a bit of a party. And we spend the day with me drinking whiskey. We spend the day with me drinking whiskey. Uh, so we did it last year. It's, it's, a, it's a tradition on the show. And we'll do it again. External assassin, you're just a kid. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> I appreciate that. Very much indeed. But uh, yeah, we spend the day investing while I'm drinking whiskey. It's always an interesting day that I'm going in. So I'm I'm going in some single malt. I'll get fantastic. I'll get in some. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll join in some single malt. Good stuff. Join me. Can anybody remember the date? We did it last year. Anybody remember the date? <laughs> We did it last year. We do it uh, every year, every year. This is the second year, all right? Let's not, <laughs> let's not uh, get carried away. But uh, yeah, I just spend the day investing while drinking whiskey. It's always an eventful day. <laughs> anyway, I should probably not be on air, but it worked last year. It was quite fun. I didn't, I didn't uh, end up too much out of the money. Anyway... Uh, what's going on? 22 says Ale McDonald's. We're trying to get some McDonald's. Coca Cola been rising all day after that drop this morning. J and J trying to push up. Google, it's not going to go much lower. I think this is it now. This is your low price for Google. If you want to get some Google, this is it. Uh, dangerous combination when you have access to margin. Yeah, I have no. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I I have access to it all right, but uh, I'm not turning it on. And I tell you now, I bet you any money you like with the amount of money I've put in, they would give me a hell of a lot of margin. But uh, anyway, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. That would be a bit crazy. And then I, then my wife would say, um, so what happened to you then today? You had a few beers and now, you, now you're bankrupt. What's all that about? Yeah, I can imagine that one. 18th of March. No. Wrong. <laughs> it's the 9th of March. March the 9th. March the 9th. So what's that? 9, uh, 9 10, 11, 12, 30. Two weeks. Two weeks. It'll be a Thursday, right? I don't know how I feel Google will go. I don't know. I feel Google will go... Uh, Lower. It could well do. I don't know. But I don't think so. I think we're about there now. I think we're about there now. It's uh, it's if you look at uh, if you look at its price to earnings ratio, 21 times. Uh, that's a very good ratio for this company, I think. Um, you know, it doesn't pay a dividend. So there's not that to consider. But I think um, I think it's extremely good value. Uh, I, I will buy more, but I am buying it through the S&P. That's how I'm doing it right now. Uh, I think that's important in this uh, market right now to have uh, have diverse uh, protection, if you like. Okay. 
just uh, 25 minutes ago before the bell goes. We've got day trader of the day, of course, as well. Let's bring uh, everybody up to date with a quick commercial break. And then let's talk about our crypto challenge. Here we go. So be right back in 10 seconds from now. Mohamed Kahine is here, one of our gold members. How are you? Be right back after a short little interval. Here we go. Okay. I'm right behind the darkness. Can you see me? There you go. All right. And we are back. Okay. Let's have a look. Mohammed Kahine, Tilray is about to explode later, about to explode later this year. <laughs> Thank you. you got all excited then for a minute. HHS and DOJ are soon going to report it to Biden, uh, Department of Justice, I think that is, and will and will reschedule cannabis. I, I've been doing my homework on cannabis by Tilray. By Tilray. Uh, of course, um, I do have a position. Uh, I have 1.93% uh, of my portfolio. That is about right for me. Um, uh, Mohammed Kahine, if you uh, want me to buy more uh, Tilray uh, and you want me to make a video on it, give me a super chat and I will spend that amount of money on Tilray. If you want me to do that and make a big thing out of it and make a video out of it of me buying Tilray, you can give me a super chat and I will buy it. But right now, I've got no money available. And honestly, I don't, uh, I, 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 I think it's a, a good amount. 1.93 uh, of my portfolio. I think that's a good amount. Uh, here's that sell-off. Here we go. Says 22. More selling pressure now coming in. Let's look at my overall portfolio. Let's see where it's going. Hi, Paddy. Uh, welcome, welcome. Look, here we go again. We got a bit of a rejection again, and uh, let's see how, how far down it goes this time. I've got no more funds. Oh, Mohammed Kahine, is that is that is that a super chat, or is that you want me to spend twenty bucks on uh, on Tilray? Is that what you're saying? Is that what that is? Uh, let me just clarify that a minute. They, to buy Tilray, there we go, okay, I've got to do it now, I've got to do it, so let's, let's do it, we've got a super chat, we're celebrating, hey, thank you very much indeed, woohoo, thank you so much indeed, Mohammed Kahain, payday, it's time, to, it's time, I just got paid to buy some Tilray, <laughs> I can't believe it, alright then, alrighty then, let's go over to uh, Tilray right now, and uh, let's have a look at it. It's, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, right. So I need to bring some money in. I've only got 15 bucks available. So I need to bring in some money. So let me go into my buying power and uh, deposit some funds to do it. I need some money. So I need to bring in 10 bucks uh, to cover that review brokerage just once transfer 10 bucks. Yeah. Um, should I buy it on my, Oh, I could hang on. Should I buy it on my broker? Uh, should I buy it on my Roth IRA long-term investing? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's buy it on my Roth IRA long-term investing then shall we? Okay, so we'll buy. How much does he give me? 20 bucks. So buy Tilray. So here we go. We'll make a video out of this. Uh, I promised I would, so let me do it right now. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. One of our, uh, in, uh, one of our investors, members of our family, has just said to me uh, that uh, Tilray is going to explode this year, that we're going to get uh, it through legislation. We certainly hope so, because I've always said it's going to go to $40 if it does. So he's just given me a super chat uh, and to buy and hold. So here it is. Here is, uh, there you go, $20 to buy Tilray. So I'll put this out as a video later. We're making this during a live show. So I've gone into my Roth IRA by Tilray. Uh, let me have a quick look here. It's at its all-time low right now. So let me change this to a limit order. And we'll do it at 285, uh, uh, just so we make sure it goes through. And we're going to buy. We've got 20 bucks. So we're, uh, how many can we buy? Five. 
Uh, we can buy more than that. Six, seven. There we go. I can buy seven shares of Tilray. There it is on the screen. So I'm doing this right now. We've got 20 minutes to go before the market opens. Review the order. And this is being bought courtesy of Mohammed Kahine. So let me have a quick look. Buy Tilray at 285, which is my all time low price anyway. Uh, shares seven, and we're going to buy it right now. There we go. And Tilray purchased at 281. 281. There we go. Done. That's done. Fantastic. So what do you think? Do you think Tilray is going to go up this year? Are we going to get legislation through? Well, let's hope so. Uh, there is my position. I've got a bigger, a much bigger position in my brokerage account of nearly $800. But this is a long-term investment. This was done by a, uh, a tip from Mohammed Kahain. He said to me, look, there it is on the screen. He says, yes, buy Tilray and hold. So there you go. I have done it. And I shall put that out as a video uh, later on this afternoon. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. All right, Tilray, let's um, get rid of this screen here. Take away the uh, production screen. There we go. And uh, Tilray. <laughs> Let me do that one there. Okay, hang on. Let me get in the screen. Okay, there's Tilray. All right, we just bought some Tilray. I might make a little tweak uh, to my uh, port to the image, but anyway, essentially that's there. Now, what time did that go out? What time did that go out? Uh, we have not had one of my company. Let's have a little look. That went out at uh, forty minutes. Forty minutes. T L R Y. Tilray. Biggles was better. Yeah, I haven't done that video yet. Biggles was better. I'm already making money. <laughs> Got your video coming out later, George. Uh, Biggles was better. There you go. Point 0.1. I'm up two cents. There you go. Awesome stuff. We'll hold that. And uh, we have uh, seven shares courtesy of Mohammed Kahine. Let's go back to my main portfolio. And uh, let's see how we're doing right now. Okay. So we're getting a sell off again. Here we go. Uh, we've got just 20 minutes to go. Uh, in fact, 18 minutes to go now. Biggles was better. Look out, George Semaine, for your video later. All right. <laughs> we, we'll share that with you. All right. Uh, cheese says ale. Indeed, indeed. All right. So uh, I want you all to help me get a viral video this afternoon. Uh, it comes out in just uh, 17 minutes. It's right at the end of the, as we ring the bell, there it is. And uh, it's about my uh, thoughts to the globe, to the economy right now. And uh, this is it. I hope this works. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, here is the video. Crag, in effect, the important thing is that you are well. It is indeed. There it is. It's all over. We've got three likes already. It premieres in 22 minutes. Uh, uh, don't see anyone left to comment yet. No, no one left to comment yet. You're all waiting for the end, okay? Yeah, no, no comment yet. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, be there or be square. Hey, Malk was the first person in. There you go, Malk. Uh, you're the first person. I'll reply to your comment shortly. There's Meet Kevin on the left and Graham Step on the right. And uh, hopefully we'll have some fun with this video. We shall see. Uh, anyway. Stock market crash. It's all over. I lost $40,000 and I'll explain to you how I did that. All right, let's get ready. And straight after that, of course, we have the music premiere. But this video will go directly there. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Going sideways. The S&P is down. Uh, a little bit of a sell-off, but not going any further. Virgin Galactic. Oh, Exactly as planned, exactly as hoped. Um, there it is. Uh, I've been t talking to people on uh, on um, YouTube uh, on Stockwitz today about I see it going to three and explaining why I think that. And 
Even Richard Branson thinks that. Remember, Richard Branson sold his shares. He knows exactly uh, what's going on. Uh, and, and, he, and, and, and who could be more passionate than uh, Richard Branson? The guy who is a founder who's put literally billions of dollars into it at one point, uh, is, is, who is behind the whole company, or a few, uh, or a few uh, redditors and tweeters and stock quitters, you know, tweeting about stuff. You know, who's more passionate about it? Uh, and he sold his position as well. And Elon Musk is going to sell Tesla as well. Who's more passionate about e about Tesla than Elon Musk? He's going to sell as well. But people on Reddit know best. Anyway, there we go. That's Virgin Galactic right now. Today's volume is 45,000. Let's have a little look. Um, uh, let me refresh that. I don't think that's quite right. One thing that's important as well, when you look at a chart or any information, have a feel for it. And uh, if you think it's wrong, refresh it. Because sometimes, you know, there's the, there's a few things that go wrong. Hey, oh, it's Caden Youngquist. Just switched my channel to my business name. Youngquist Capital. I knew it was I knew it was you, Caden. How could we not recognize you, mate? This guy's doing really great. Uh, uh, he's doing really great on his YouTube channel. Uh, 22, I think they're more passionate about their pockets than the companies, uh, which is right. They're passionate about their pockets. They understand where the market is going. There's no point uh, just leaving your money in because you're the founder and you think it's the greatest thing in the world. You don't want to be in the in your own company if you know the share price is going down. You want to sell when it pumped up to 60 bucks. Wouldn't you do that? And then with your billions of dollars, buy it back at three. Wouldn't you do that? Absolutely. Why is that the wrong thing to do? That is passion. That is, uh, that is, uh, that's the right thing to do in my book. Anyway, there you go. Today's volume, 4,687,000. I knew that was wrong. So there you go. Let's have a look. How does that compare to normal? Uh, average volume is nine. Today, it's half the average. Very low day for Virgin Galactic. No one really doing much other than, other than selling. Other than selling, that's what the only direction it's going right now. Anyway, hey, George, I disagree. If you are passionate about it, uh, it, it, uh, if it's just an investment, yes, get out. I, 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 I'll agree to, to disagree. I think we'll agree to disagree there, 22. You can be passionate about something, but no, it's not the right time to put your money into it. No one could be more passionate about me with this channel. No one. I go live every day, all the time, but I'm not going to borrow $100,000 to rebuild the studio uh, because it wouldn't make any sense. There's a, there's a, you know, being involved and working and promoting is one thing and putting your time into it, but putting your money behind something which doesn't require your money or the value is going to go down so you can buy it back cheaper. That's just sensible. Uh, you know, I'll put my, my time and work in to promote in this channel. But if you said spend a hundred grand tomorrow and do YouTube ads, or whatever, I would go, no, that's the wrong thing to do. I wouldn't put money into my business right now. I'm putting hard work into it. So I don't blame Richard Branson for selling it at uh, 30 bucks a share, waiting to buy it at three. That makes every bit of sense to me. Anyway, I've met people who are passionate about their businesses. They remortgage the house to make sure it survives, not abandon it. Um, there's a time to walk away, isn't there? You didn't just throw throw infinite amount of money. I don't think I don't think so. I'm not saying it's sensible, but it's passion. Uh, oh, okay. We kind of agree then, perhaps. Um, you know, passion, passion and commitment are different things, right? They need to coexist. However, anyway, I think there's a time uh, we disagree on what passionate is, I guess. Yeah, maybe we disagree on what passionate is. Um, anyway, we shall see. Virgin Galactic is down today, uh, 5%. I'm holding my position. Uh, I'm adding to it when it goes down further. But right now, I'm building up my S&P first. 
because I think uh, Virgin Galactic can go lower. It can have much bigger drops, much bigger drops. I mean, Virgin Galactic could go down 80% in a day. No question. That isn't going to happen to the S&P 500. No question. Passion and entrepreneurship are different too, says MSK. Thanks. Hey, welcome, MSK. Lovely to have you here. All right. We're nearly at the end of the show. Um, let's have a quick look at where we are. Uh, we've got 10 minutes to go before the bell goes. I want to see on a Friday night where the market goes in the after hours for a, for a couple of moments anyway. We have had a, a very busy uh, afternoon here this afternoon. Look at this. We're at uh, 160 people come through the show, uh, which is great. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get to 200 by the end of the show. That's what we like to do. That's very nice indeed. Uh, 6,531. Let's see where we end up after my video goes out. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm very excited about it, all right? So we've got 28 likes, 28 watching. So I hope we'll get 28 of you watch my video. It's called The Golden Hour on YouTube. If you can get 100 views in the first hour on a video, YouTube will show uh, another 500 people. And if you get the majority of those people watch it within the next uh, 24 hours, then they'll push it out to a much wider audience. So it's called The Golden Hour. So uh, anyway, we're getting ready for that in just uh, nine minutes from now. When the bell rings, I will end the show. This video will take you directly to the special video. Here it is in the chat. I hope you'll all watch it. Leave a like. Uh, there's, there's uh, yep. Young, uh, Caden Youngquist agrees with me. Yep, that's absolutely right. Uh, damn right. And uh, after that, uh, this video, it will take you right to the music video. Okay, I hope you'll join me. Caden Youngquist, as a, an entrepreneur, video YouTuber yourself, please leave a comment and uh, I will reply and... Uh, Highlight it for you, mate. All right. Okay. Now then, for those of you who are watching right now, and most of you, I think, were here this morning, uh, it's a, your last chance to get my newsletter, which will go out for next Friday's cash giveaway. And as I've said, if the cash giveaway does not go above 20 next week, which is 10 less than what voted for it, it will be the last one for a while. OK, 60 uh, percent of you said, no, carry on doing the uh, carry on doing the, the um, newsletter cash giveaway. So there's the link to get the newsletter in the chat right now. And here is the verification email you're looking for to make sure you verified it. And it will go out 8 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. GMT on Sunday. And remember, if you uh, don't enter it this week, only 10 people each week, 10, 11 people each week do it. We won't be doing it anymore. We'll scrap it. I said I would do it forever. And I said to you, I, I want to give a $1,000 cash giveaway, prize away. But I'm not able to because you've not yet, uh, the numbers hasn't gone up watching it. So I've not been able to make the money to give to you. And the idea was if, if everybody watched it, it made it go viral, I could earn that sort of money and give it away. But I was never able to do so because you didn't watch it. So uh, we had a poll and 60%. About 35 people said, yes, we want the new, we want the cash giveaway. Even though 340 people now subscribe to the newsletter and 40% read it on the first day, which is phenomenal. I have a great open rate. You've decided not to enter the competition. So uh, next Friday, if we don't get at least 20 people enter it, I'm not doing it anymore. All right. So there you go. Let's have a look. Just doubled my position on AMV, says George Semain. Mohamed Kahine, investor follower. There you go. That's uh, George Semain. Yeah, I have joined rather late. Too busy hustling. Uh, hustling. MSK's out hustling. 22 MOC imbalance. 2.4 billion sell side. Let's have a look. What's going on? The portfolio is still holding, though. I'm still holding. Let's go over to my uh, position. Look, overall, there's my uh, brokerage position. There's my Roth IRA going down again. Look at it, continually going down. Couldn't have more defensive position than this. Uh, I've got a little bit. I know I've got a little bit of the Roth. Uh, I've got a little bit of um, uh, J&J &J here, but uh, 
by far the majority is JN. Sorry, I meant to say Virgin Orbit. And the majority by far is JNJ. And now I'm adding in my VU position. Uh, and Tesla, I'm up 69%. And Amazon, you know, I can't have much more of a defensive position than this. And it's still going down. But 42, 427 is my overall position. Got $100,000 by the end of this year. That's my target. I'm, I'm absolutely, absolutely 100% committed to doing that. Anyway, the, MO, the MOC is market on close orders. Thank you ever so much indeed, 22. I didn't know what that was. Thanks for explaining. The MOC is market uh, on close orders. When orders are placed to buy or sell at whatever price the market closes. So let's have a look. Market uh, on close orders imbalance 2.4 billion on the sell side okay so when the market closes we are expecting to see after hours the markets go down that's what you're saying then okay when orders are placed to buy or sell at whatever price the market closes so it looks like when the bell goes and the markets close we're expecting an imbalance of 2.4 billion on the sell side. Okay, so let's see if when the bell goes, the markets generally go down. We shall see, shall we? Okay, we've only got four minutes to go. And uh, the moment the bell goes, let's do day trader of the day right now. Quickly, here we go. I am down 1.56 because we're going to end the show right on the bell. And then we're going to go over to my world premiere down 1.59%. So we're expecting a sell-off right at the end. Let's see what happens. I'm going to give you one minute on the clock. Give everyone a chance to uh, post their scores. And then we'll end the show on the bell. 1.59 down. Crag is down 7.75. Mohammed Swalam is up 0.1. Congratulations. We'd expect Mohammed to win then. Let's see how we do. Any more takers? We're 182 now through the stream. 6,531 subscribers. Uh, 28 watching, 29 likes. 19 seconds to go. Have we got any advances? It looks like Mohammed is going to win. It's a members only competition, of course. Remember that. Okay. Kavana tanking today. 18% down. I don't own any. No surprise. I've always said Kavana will go bankrupt. I, why did I say that? Because car prices are coming down. Uh, and they bought loads of cars, just like, um, um, was it not Best Buy? What are they called? Uh, CarMax. They bought my car, a three-year-old car for what I paid for it three years earlier. Everyone overpaid because they had no cars. They bought all these cars to sell, uh, used cars. And then new cars started arriving and now all the used cars have gone down. No surprise. Uh, so companies like that can't survive. I'm not surprised they're going down. Uh, makes no sense to me at all. But anyway, they did that. Uh, Mohammed is our winner. First time down 2.1. Congratulations, Mohammed. Uh, the very first time you are one of our members. We are going to congratulate you. Thank you very much for your honest trade. Give him a thumbs up. And here's the sound effects. Let's do it. Yay! Absolutely great. Congratulations, Mohammed. Uh, damn miss day trader of the day. Ed Nevius, you did miss it. Never mind. Right, we've got one minute to go before the bell goes. We're going to ring the bell and then we're going to go over to a video with your help. I hope if you all loop it, share, comment and like could be a viral video for me. I'm excited about it. There is the special video. And that will go straight from that to our world premiere at quarter past the hour. Here we go. One minute to go. We're going to ring the bell and then we're going to get straight out to that video. This video will take you right there. Um, and then it will take you straight after that. It will take you to the music premiere as well. Here we go. One minute to go. 
And according to 22, the imbalance of selling uh, should drive the markets down in the after hours. Let's see. So here's a special video. It'll go live in just a couple of minutes time. Here is the world premiere. This will go live in 10 minutes after that. So you can join me for both. Uh, hopefully you will. Two waiting already. Great. Let me have a look. Yeah, there's five waiting for the music. Oh, six, six likes already. I love it. Woohoo! Get in. Let's have a viral video. Very nice, Ed. 7% uh, up. Oh, you would have won by a long short. A uh, long shot. Long short, long short. You know, long shanks. You know what I'm saying. Right, okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two. One, the bell is gone. Let's see what happens in the after hours. So, on the bell, the uh, the the, the uh, imbalance is sell off. Whatever the price is at the bell, that's what uh, twenty two just said. So that doesn't mean to say my portfolio is going to go down. Of course, has no balance on that whatsoever. But it could do. Let's have a look. Let's go for our stocks. I'm going to give you one minute. I'm out of here. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll the credits already. Let's get it moving. Uh, and we're going to be gone to this world premiere. Hopefully you'll all join me. Let's bring in the music. Let's bring in the music. Thank you very much indeed. We're watching the stocks. Uh, Rolls Royce is barcoding again. Uh, we don't want to see that. That's what happened before. Uh, we've got super chats from Mohammed Kahain. Thanks to all the followers. Mohammed Kahain, thank you for your super chat. I will make your Tilray video. It'll go out uh, very, very shortly later on tonight uh, for your um, wonderful uh, super chat. Thank you very much indeed for that. Let's have a quick look. Let's uh, get rid of the... Um, the, uh, the credits right now because they're just full of uh, idiots that don't exist. Bit of a bit of a scammers, but there you go. They like to do that. Gives them entertainment, I guess. Uh, the S&P uh, is uh, going down slightly in the after hours. Virgin Galactic is up slightly in the after hours. So what is happening so far? Nothing. Virgin Orbit still going down. 130 now. All time low. Rivian, Tesla. I'm going to buy it at 160. I still believe it's going to go there. Uh, Lucid, still uh, down in the after hours slightly. Apple, down slightly in the after hours. So slightly down, but nothing dramatic so far. Let's uh, check a Coca-Cola, defensive stocks. Who doesn't exit? Um, who doesn't exit? I'm not sure what that means, uh, T.O. Roll. Take us all into the music, Martin. Okay, let's go. Here we go. All right, so the first thing you're going to see... The first thing that you're going to see is this. This is the first thing you're going to see. Uh, this here. This is the first video. It'll go from here and then it will go into the music channel. Okay, so you'll go here and then you'll go here. All right, so here we go. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I will see you all back on uh, Monday morning. Look out for that. Look out for uh, the special events over the weekend. Of course, next week we have the earnings for... Uh, for Virgin Galactic and the brand new Virgin Galactic singles coming out. Hopefully you'll all be there for that. Thank you very much indeed. That's it from me. I'm going to get out of here. Let me end this. Get rid of the ticker. See you all back on Monday. Thanks for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. That's it from me. Stick right where you are and it will take you directly to the video. In the meantime, until then, I'll join you over there now. Let's make a viral video. Take care of yourselves and each other.